You guys. You guys. You guys. There's a new update for Legends of Kingdom Rush, and it's coming soon. How soon? Nobody knows. But it's not a matter of when, it's a matter of what. And we're going to look at the trailer right now to see what we can expect from this latest update. So the first thing that I notice is that this takes place in a forest at night. So I'm immediately reminded of the other nighttime forests in the series, which would be the Rotten Forest in Kingdom Rush 1 and the Fairy Forest in Kingdom Rush Origins. Knowing that the other adventures in Legends took place in strictly Kingdom Rush 1 locations, it's tempting to think that the same is going to be true here. But there's a little something in the top left corner that says otherwise. But before I get to that, I need to talk about other elements of this part of the trailer. The biggest thing here, in both senses of the word, is this enemy that just attacked everyone. Take a close look at how his attack works. His attack chains between units who are close together, which is almost identical to Rakesun's Twilight Step ability. The only difference is that this enemy can attack units that are two hexes away from each other at least, whereas Rakesun could only reach one hex away. The fact that this attack is stronger than the final unlocked skill of a legend tells me that this guy is probably a boss. There's also the fact that he's a big, thick chonk, and every boss in the game so far has been a big, thick chonk, so he's probably a boss enemy. I'd also like to commend him for instantly killing the arcane wizard. It seems like that would just keep on happening until the arcane wizard stops being such a big soy boy. The last thing that I'll mention here is this blonde character. You can't see him completely here because the Dark Knight is also a big thick chonk, but you can see most of him. And based on his long spear, his purple tunic, and his long blonde hair, chances are that he's probably gay, I mean a sylvan elf. So that supports the theory that this adventure takes place in the Rotten Forest. But let's keep watching. Yep, that's him. That's our boy Bravebark. Based on everything we've seen so far in Legends, heroes that were heroes in the previous games continue to be heroes in Legends. So chances are that Bravebark is going to be the 6th Legend, meaning that he will get 3 skills to choose from each level instead of the usual 2 that companions get. Now, I could still be wrong about this, but my hopes are high. Now let's take a look at his first skill that he uses. Bravebark puts his club into the ground and sends the thorns that make up that club to the enemy he's targeting, pulling them towards him. What's interesting here is that the enemy pops up behind him. They could have just appeared at the nearest hex, but instead, they're behind him. So maybe you can control where you teleport the enemy to. That would be very useful. If you look closely, you can also see that Bravebark gets rooted when he uses this skill. That might be an effect that the enemy has when it gets attacked, or it's part of Bravebark's skill. We'll see when the update comes out, but for now, let's keep looking at this screenshot. You can also see spiders with green backs. Although they're not identical, they remind me of the nauseous creeper enemy, which happens to also be from the Rotten Forest. So there's back and forth evidence for either possibility at this point. Let's keep watching. Alright, there's a lot to unpack here. First, it's nice to see Gerald Chad Lightseeker being used. Good representation. Second, I see that tall tree enemy that just died. It reminds me of the tainted treants from the Rotten Forest. There's also the tree who swiped the bombardier's dummy, pushing it into the other enemies. That one looks more like the Weirdwood. This is where my own theory about the update comes in. I think that this update is a combination of Kingdom Rush 1 and Origins. There are references to both games here, so I feel like the story is going to combine the two in some way. I also think that those purple flower enemies are kind of like the purple poisonous vines in Origins. Or maybe it's the chomper from Plasters of Zombies and we're doing a crossover. But I doubt that. Now let's keep watching. We get to see the next ability that Bravebark has, which is a sea of vines that damage every enemy in their path. This reminds me of his Zero spell, which leads me to speculate that his other abilities are going to replicate his skills in Origins too. Maybe he'll get to use Branch Ball, and will have the very first direct insta-kill in Legends. I could speculate about his abilities all day, 
but I'd rather not. Instead, I'm going to be making thorough reviews of every companion and legend in Legends of Kingdom Rush, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be starting with the knight, because she's a nice and simple companion, so it will give me room to explain how the game works for people who don't know all the details. And let me make it clear that me starting with the knight has nothing to do with the fact that I'm attracted to this drawing. Oh no. Jaw drops to floor, eyes pop out of sockets accompanied by trumpets, heart beats out of chest, a wooga a wooga sound effect, pulls chain on chain whistle that has appeared next to head as steam blows out, slams fists on table, rattling any plates, bowls, or silverware, whistles loudly, fireworks shoot out from top of head, pants loudly as tongue hangs out of mouth, wipes comically large bead of sweat from forehead, clears throat, straightens tie, combs hair. Milady. Alright, now that I've met my joke quota, I'm done with this video. Have a good day, I hope you enjoyed it, goodbye.